how you make me want to leave the one with Who's my yeah. new relationship with you? This is what you do Think about it when you know the things that come along with you Make me, you make me leave the one with Who's my new relationship with you? This is what you do Think about it when you know the things that come along with you Make me, you make me <laughs> your hair and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome thank you so much for joining the family i noticed a lot of you came over after you saw my video um showing how to make the your wig look natural so to all of my new subscribers thank you so much for joining and if you've been rocking with me for a minute what's up welcome back today i am bringing you a unit that i'm really excited about you guys <laughs> oh my god i'm excited i cannot contain my excitement like <laughs> I'm trying though. So this unit is by Body Boss and it's a new line that just came out. It's their um, Miss Origin Designer Mix. Now I think I've heard of it for bundles if I'm not mistaken, but never for a wig. So I have her in the style MLG LWST 26, so it's 26 inches in the natural straight 26 style. And I have her in a natural brown color, which does equate to a number two color. This line has a 13 by six frontal. It has two combs over here, like towards the middle, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. It does come with a pre-plugged hairline. On the stock card, it says it's a hand tie lace frontal, and it's supposed to have beauty and movement like human hair. This is a human hair mix, so it's not all synthetic. There's some human hair in here too. And also this wig does come in like 10 other styles. Like look, 10 other styles. There's definitely one style I wanted to try the, um, what is it? The Brazilian wave style. My girl Brittany, AKA Hearts and Cake 90, did review that wig the other day and it looks so good on her. Like I, I really, I want it. <laughs> I want that wig. It actually made me excited to review this wig for you guys today. Definitely check out Brittany's review. I'm gonna link her video in my description box down below. Let me give you a quick 360 of the wig. So y'all, this wig right here, woo! I know a lot of y'all saw my review on one of the new wigs from the Harlem 125 line, the TL. THL04. That wig is absolutely bomb. Definitely one of the best synthetic units out right now. So go get it if you haven't already. But this wig right here, woo! I'm excited. Brittany, if you're watching, I'm so excited about this hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's just jump into the pro. So the first pro to this wig is the texture, y'all. This texture is divine. It feels like butter. It feels like butter. Bobby Boss wasn't playing when they said this was a human hair mix. When I took this fresh out the box, I legit was like, whoa, hold on. This is, this is what? This is, this feels like human hair. This is moving like human hair. Look at this. Oh my goodness, this texture is amazing. This is synthetic, synthetic wear. Do y'all see this? So I was just so impressed, even before I put the wig on, 
I was impressed with the texture alone. Now, the last time I tried a human hair blend wig was also by Bobby Boss, Bobby Boss Mora. And I was back in like, that was months ago. That wig, even though I like the style and the color, the texture was like, yo, this is, what's human hair about this? To me, it felt like your regular regular synthetic wig. I think since then, Body Boss has definitely stepped up a notch with this Miss Origin um, series because this feels, <laughs> I, I just can't describe it. I wish y'all could touch it through the screen. Another pro to this wig is the hairline and parting space. I showed you guys in the clip earlier that you can part it anywhere you want across 13 inches here and six inches back and it goes far back to like right here. So that's awesome. I decided to part in the middle because as a lot of you know, I'm a middle part kind of girl. I did have some problems over here with the lace. The lace is like a light brown. It didn't blend as seamlessly as the Harlem 125 lace did. Let me just show y'all like, hold on, let me just take this off so I can see what I'm talking about. So, I mean, right here, this is after I applied like the brown powder, right? But this is here, like looks a little bit light, like that's not properly blended. Honestly, I was rushing earlier when I was in a natural lighting because I really wanted y'all to see it in a natural light. So now it's dark, I'm under my ring light. But I was like, let me just get up close and first personal so y'all could see. I am not the best when it comes to frontals yet. I am still learning like this dry spot here, oh my God. But you can see what the parting area looks like. And this is my problem area. I kind of just filled it in with a brown eyeliner and I was, I was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> so I just wanted y'all to get a little up close look because you know, it's it's hard to like get these wigs together. Oh my ring light. It's hard to get these wigs together sometimes. And I don't want you to think it's like always so easy breezy. Like, no. Your girl struggles sometimes, okay? My channels is that your hair. And sometimes I'm like, is that is that no that's a wig <laughs> so i do like the hairline and i do like the parting space i really like the style um it's super sleek look here like you see these layers they're very light layers start here and they gradually get longer towards the bottom i i absolutely love it love it i would say the one con to this wig would probably be the cap size. It doesn't feel that big head friendly. It feels pretty snug. My braids are a bit old, so I feel like my wigs are not laying as flat as they normally do. Um, and they're not coming up on my head the way they normally do. So this is stopping like right over here. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's not friendly. <laughs> and I have like a medium sized head. So, I don't know. When I get my hair rebraided, I will try her on again and see how she's fitting. But I'm, I'm not tripping about that. Honestly, you guys, I'm not tripping about the cat. I'm not tripping about the lace color. Because let me tell you something. Bobby Boss got this texture down packed. You know, synthetic wigs have improved tremendously since I first started wearing them in 2015. So to have a wig like this that seriously mimics human hair, I can't explain to you how much this feels like a human hair unit. It is still synthetic, so I'm sure at some point it's gonna maybe start with the tangling and maybe some shedding, but out the box, I wasn't getting shedding really. I only got some shedding when I cut the lace off and that was it. And even now, like, oh my gosh, Bobby Boss. I'm so impressed with this wig. I'm thoroughly impressed. You wanna know why I'm so impressed, you guys? This wig costs, I think, like $45, $48, right? Then you have the Sensational Wet Lace Collection, which started off at like in the 50s. Now, like some of them are in like in the late $40 price range, like with like $47, $48, $49, not including shipping. Yes, the hairline is bomb, but the lace color is a problem for many. And to me, the fibers are not premium fibers. I can't speak for all of the Sensational Wet Lace wigs. I've only tried a few, but let me show you. Like Audrey, I reviewed Audrey a while ago, and I loved Audrey on me. Loved her on me, I love the style, and I love this rose gold color. But the fibers, this thing was tangling out the pack. And I didn't understand why a wig that was so short, even though yes, it's curly, but it's short. Like, why are you tangling so, like, I just took it out the pack. That really bothered me. It bothered me the more I wore this unit. I haven't worn her in a while, 
But I'm just like, yo, I just paid how much? $55 for this? And this is supposed to be premium synthetic fiber. But you're tangling out the pack. Okay? I also have um, Sensational Wet Lace Celeste. This wig never even got reviewed, y'all. I contemplated it. I just, I just kind of moved on from it because I got frustrated with the tangling at the bottom. Also, like, it was day one. And I, I get it. It's synthetic. It's long. It's going to tangle. I know this, you guys. I've been wearing synthetic wigs for a long time. But I just felt like for the high price point, 55, 56, however much I paid for this at that time, shouldn't the fibers be a little bit more premium quality? Like, that's what I was thinking. Now, Bobby Boss is out here with a 13 by 6 frontal pre-plucked hairline that is a human hair blend. And it costs less than $50. So you're telling me you can give me the hair quality that I'm looking for in a at least a synthetic blend unit for under fifty dollars. You can do that. I guess you just aren't doing it, right? Do you guys feel where I'm coming from? I just feel like with this line, this is kind of starting a new wave for like the standard of a synthetic wig. I'm totally fine with the twenty dollars synthetic wigs. I love those too. I make them work. I love those as well. But if I'm paying fifty five, sixty dollars, you know, you just see the price range has been going up and up when it comes to synthetic wigs. If I'm paying that much. You know, we're getting closer to human hair status, like maybe $40 away from a human hair unit, or like a short bob or something. In that case, I'm like, well, maybe you should compete a little bit and increase the quality of your fibers. You know what I mean? Bobby Boss is competing. Like, this texture is absolutely bomb.com. This is the bomb. You know, the pre-plucked hairline is not as pre-plucked as sensational and that's where sensational kind of wins i guess but texture means a lot to me texture means almost everything to me <laughs> when it comes to my wigs i can have a bomb ass style right like the curls barrel curls or something and if the texture is too silky i'm just like i'll pass i think that this has turned into a rant <laughs> I think that these companies making these synthetic wigs at a higher price point should consider the human hair blend model more because this right here is, is just blowing the human hair blends out the water. Straight up. No contest. If I could combine the hairline from Sensational Wet Lace with the texture from this Bobby Boss Miss Origin series and the cap from Harlem 125, their true line that the size of their cap that would be an amazing um unit that would be really amazing uh yeah <laughs> let me know what you all think about this wig i know this video has got really long but i just feel like you know i want to get what i pay for i kind of see how these companies are moving they're increasing their prices but they're still trying to maintain the same quality and i'm like no as a consumer i kind of feel like i can demand a little bit more i mean at one point we were accepting wigs with no part <laughs> you feel me at one point we were accepting wigs that we had to pluck over and over again through the parting space now if a company you know was coming out with a new wig that had no parting space you'd be like what the <laughs> what you would laugh at that so I don't think there's anything wrong with increasing the standard um, as they increase their prices. Yeah, y'all, yeah, let me know how you feel about this wig in the comments down below. Let me know if you would purchase this wig. I definitely recommend purchasing this wig. Especially if you know how to slay a frontal, come on now. No contest. Bobby Boss, you did that. Okay. And if you want to see um, some more of my wig reviews that I've done recently, make sure you check them out to the right of me. And I will also include in the cards a wig similar to this, but at a cheaper price point right up here. Thank you all so much for watching. And thank you to all of my new subscribers that have joined the family. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.